Hello everyone, my name is Kenny Quach. If you probably got into animation when you played with stop motion as a kid, or just a fan of brick films, or Lego stop motion in general, some animators who make brick films probably use just a camera to snap a picture and import all the sequence of photos to the video editing program. I mean, I'm not against it. It is a great way to make a stop motion animation in a cheaper way. But for me, I have a way to make a stop motion animation differently and make it easy for me so I so I don't have to labor on the video editing software. In the past, I, ha I have used to make stop motion animation using my mom's old tablet with the app called Stop Motion Studio app. And even further back, I make, a, I make stop motion using Nintendo 3DS. But right now, I am using a software that is considered a free stop motion animation that's just like Dragon Frame, and it's not what you expected. The program I use is Tomo 2D. I use Tomo 2D mainly for 2D animation, but from the official website, it is said that it can, it can be used to make stop motion animation. It's like TV Paint and Dragon Frame combined into one software. It, it made open source and free to the public. With Channel 2D, you can make any types of stop motion, either claymation, puppets, and cutouts. What I'm using is Legos, where I can use a minifig as a puppet for my animation. When I set up the stage, I just like playing with Legos, get creative with the scene, like where the minifig just walk while the stage sort of built around itself. You can use a webcam or even a professional Canon camera to, to take for, for photography. I couldn't afford a camera and a webcam does not have a quality for me. I took a different option by using my phone as a webcam for stop motion photography. I linked my Android phone to my PC with an app called Link, Link to Windows. And with that set up, my, my computer should be able to connect to my phone and use as a webcam whenever I open a camera feature on my computer. When I started making stop motion with Tomo 2D, just like making 2D animation, it takes time and patience to make an animated shot, but for stop motion, it takes steady and careful hands to pose your character, and it also takes a lot of focusing and careful thinking when taking a shot. You make stop motion straight away, being loose with the movement of your puppet, and you have to time the acting of your character right, or else it doesn't appeal to your audience. It's really cool when developers of Tenno 2D not only took inspiration of OpenTunes to make their own 2D animation software that is available to everyone, and also more user-friendly using to make stop motion kind of opens the opportunity for those who want to make stop motion on their own, who doesn't want to pay lots of money for, it, for the industry standard software. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this video is helpful. I'll see you next. I'll see you again next time.